hey, listen, I've made it through a handful of updates, including the penguin update and the medic update. Here's what you need to do. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jen Sargent. I'm the creator of Digital Sargent. I'm so happy you found this video. If you found this video, it's because you're more than likely a local or small business owner that wants to learn more about digital marketing, and I'm the girl to help you do just that. Before I dive into today's video topic, which is actually all about what to do shortly after a Google Core update, I kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel so when I upload new material all about local business digital marketing, you'll be the first to know and you'll be the first to implement it. So so let's talk about what to do really after a Google Core update. And I kind of paused there for a second because the timing of this video is being recorded on August 11th. And this morning, the community, or actually really last night, the community really started to talk about a possible Google update because a bunch of rankings plummeted, especially on the local level. So naturally, everybody on Twitter is like doing research, trying to figure out exactly what happened and come to find out it's actually a glitch, which is exactly what prompted this video. And I actually changed my content around to make this video because I really want to talk about what to do after, during, shortly after, around the time of a Google Core update. When a Google Core update happens, of course, your heart will drop if your rankings drop, your sites and visits drops, your indexing is, you know, vanished, everything is just out of whack. Of course, you're going to be concerned and of course you're going to be upset, but um, really it's a waste of energy to just like totally lo lose your mind over it. So um, first things first is just take a breather, relax, it's going to be okay. I have survived many, many, many Google Core updates and Google updates in the past and I'm still here to tell the tale. So first, take a breather. Uh, number two, take a good temperature of what's happening on Twitter. What are people saying? What are some things that you're that they're reporting? And kind of really just observe and absorb all of that material on Twitter. Typically where the SEOs will hang out to really talk about what's going on in the SEO industry. Number three, I 10 out of 10 recommend that you wait 48 hours or so before you make any drastic changes. While you're waiting, take that time to run a rank checker report, figure out what's going on with your rankings. Um, look at Google Search Console, make sure there aren't any red flags in there. Check your mobile indexing, make sure everything is okay with there. Um, I mean, go ahead and check your site speed, the back end of your website, make sure all of your plugins are good to go. Really just take do a really nice audit of your digital footprint especially when it comes to your website and make sure that everything is good and sound there in that department. Now, if something really starts to drop and you notice a huge decrease in rankings for a specific series of search terms, then take a look at that content and really identify what could be the potential problems be. Is the content outdated? Are, is there a bad markup on the website? Um, you know, is it duplicate content throughout other websites? So really just get a good temperature of, you know, possibly what some issues could be within the rankings or the search terms that are resulting in the handful of those rankings. And back to my point about, you know, just waiting it out, it could, you could just be super worried and in reality, it's just a glitch within Google side and there's nothing you could do about that anyway. So I know, trust me, I've been in the industry for so long. I've seen so many updates. I've been a part of so many updates. I've seen so many weird things happen because of updates. I really just can't stress it enough. Save your energy, save your soul and just relax and do research on what could the you know what could the issue be take a good temperature of your website make sure that everything's good to go and then just take it one step at a time i will say that the seo industry is phenomenal on twitter and so kind and so helpful and you can really get a ton of of information um real-time information especially on twitter so I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you just experienced a core update, you know, maybe like six months from the time this video is posted, I really hope that it's helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. And right about now, some more items should be popping up on the screen. I hope that they're help, help, helpful for you. And I'll see you in the next video.